previously on Survivor. At the start of the game, the Nahami tribe was rolling, and they won every single one of the first four challenges. Nahami wins immunity! But Nahami wins immunity! Leaving the Waka tribe saddened, but also disgusted by the Nahami domination. <laughs> They're all nice. The girls are so pretty with their long hair. <laughs> but the losing streak bonded the six remaining Wakas together, creating a tight alliance. And at a game-changing tribe swap, the old Wakas had much more unity than the old Nahamis. When we went to the redistribution, me, Chris, and Sienna all decided that we're going to keep old Waka together. And the old Wakas took control of the game, when on the new Nahami tribe, Chris, Ryan, and Siona banded together and pulled in Connor, who they felt was on the bottom of the old Nahami tribe. I didn't honestly know that many people on my tribe. I actually knew more people on the other tribe. And the Wakas saw their power grow every week as Phil worked his way into an alliance with Chris LeCompte, who he used to keep Chandler and Nicole Senti of Waka safe, while both tribes systematically plotted against the old Nahami sending five straight Nahami members packing. And so miraculously, the six Wakas made it intact to the merge, with Connor as their seventh, leaving Chris L, Steve, Nicole L, and Zandre left on the outs. Eleven are left, and only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Uh... Alright, the tries went through a lot tonight. Um, may still be tests in the future. Since he won the challenge, so Steve can read it if he wants. Through challenging decisions, you all have survived. You've battled, you've lost, and you've won. Though nine of your comrades are no longer here, you all are in store for great fun. You've reached a crucial point in the game, that point that you all have sought. You've clawed to this point, and now you've reached the stage to which you have all fought. The jury starts now, so you have a say in who wins. It's a whole new game with new alliances to move. I hope you all brought your appetites because it's time to enjoy your MERD. I don't get it. MERD. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't think it out in my head. Why would you spell it out? Why would you just say it? Crazy. Crazy. I'm not going to put it out. I'm 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 going to put it out. Put their house together, and now we're oh, uh, where's the house? Goddamn it! Woo! All right, well, I'm not a howler, sorry. Yeah, I, I stay quiet under the radar. Your tribe name is up to you guys. You guys can talk about it tonight. You cannot. We're being the haka. We're good. <laughs> the original Waka holds power now. Original Waka all the way. Oh boy. Just like, I, mean, I hope this whole episode is just about the house in this place. <laughs> I know. Right, there's just actually a challenge right now. Mm. Mm. Mm.
Yeah, so I was uh, very happy with what happened tonight. Um, basically, it just came down to me convincing Chris and Nicole to vote out Alex. And, you know, then we get to the merge. It's just like I, I wanted. We got old Waka back together. And uh looks like I have a lot of options. Well, when Alex got voted off, and he was crying in his room, I overheard him. His roommate told me. It was really funny. Maybe the action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the entire team lied to him. <laughs> Did you think he was safe? I think so. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, we're all on one team now, and the um, competitions are obviously getting a little bit more individual. And even though there was a merge, I would say there's st still strong, like, Waka and Nahami alliances. The old Waka lost the first four challenges, and so we had to vote people out. But ever since then, no one from my team has been voted out. And I don't, I don't really know how that's happening, but like at this point, there's six Waka and five Nahami. So like, if we just kept with our old alliance, we'd be solid. Every single member of Waka is still there, and now we have majority. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. We played this game perfectly, though. Ashley and Alex Burko were part of their alliance, is what I could see. Like, at, like those were two people who they could have easily brought to the merge with them, voted off two people off my alliance, and had like a majority in the merge and I would have been screwed. I really don't know how they fell into that trap. So as long as Ryan and Siona like stay loyal, like which I think they should be. You gotta remember what they did last time when we thought we had all the power. Now it's just a slippery slope and I feel like if they were smart they would get rid of me because I feel like I'm aligned with everyone, but everyone's not aligned with each other. So I feel like I'm in like a primal position where no one's gonna really want to vote me out but just like listen to what I want to do. Yeah, I think this is like, I don't know, it's gonna be like hard, like down the line. Just yeah. Well, that's why, how about we just stick with our original plan? Like, if we just get Waka to the final six. I like Connor. I'm like, I wanna keep him. Yeah, no, well, he, he's kinda like the seven. Yeah, yeah I guess. Like the seven. <laughs> like, you know, Cause he, he definitely, like, saved our asses when we. Yeah, he, like, voted with us, yeah. yeah. At yeah. some point, I think they're gonna try and backstab us, but I think it'll be after we vote out Chris and Steve. And once we have vote off Chris and Steve, it won't matter if they backstab us because we have a solid five because we have Connor Chandler and Nicole. Yeah. No one ever knows that Nicole and Chandler were with us. Really? Yeah. Chris, me, Nicole, Chandler, um, you know, Ryan Tiana are also there. I don't know how much I trust them at this point. Um, and then we've also picked up Connor, Chandler's roommate. So now, post merge, we kind of have like a seven alliance going on. I don't trust like anyone at all except like you two to vote with. Yeah. They vote the same. I know. Yeah, now it's like, like this. This is the only three I like. Would stress the vote the same. I am also just bullshit me. And then Chris, Steve, Nicole are kind of on the outskirts, and then John Drew is just in her own little place. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win. I mean, I like seeing no old tribe or new tribe loyalties. I see duos everywhere. Yeah. All I see. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's gonna get really complicated because, like, a lot of the game right now is in, like, duos. If it was me and Siona in the final two, which, that's literally impossible. If that happened, that would be a joke. There's, if she lasts longer than me, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because it's like Pinky in the brain here. I'm the brain and she's the Pinky. So, <laughs> if, she's, if she's the little idiot who makes it farther, I'm gonna be really pissed off. That's why I never want to vote her out, because I always need at least a little buffer. And as far as I can make it with the buffer, that will push me an extra week. That's great. <laughs> yeah, the first We've two been, times. like, strategizing this whole time, even though we were never on the team. If we could get to the final, that'd be pretty epic. It's pretty cool to be with Connor. I mean, we've been talking the whole game about when we make it to the merge, we gotta stick together. Everyone thought we weren't together. Yeah. I wonder if people still think that. Probably not. Chris, Thomas, and Phil. Our aligned, me and Siona are aligned, Chandler and Connor are aligned, Steve and Chris are aligned. I feel like there's so many like duos. Um, I know Chris account has a thing for Nicole Locke, so that's another one. It's a show man. Show Chris. The only people who aren't, I guess there's Andre and Nicole, Senti and Nicole Locke. I feel well, I feel like it helps to not be in a duo, because then you it's like one less target on your back. Like people don't want to try to separate you. But Nicole Senti and me and Siona are pretty much like tight. In a trip triplet. I trust Ryan because he's like had my back since like the very beginning. And then I also trust Chandler because we said we would stick together. Nicole and I aren't gonna vote each other out. You know, we kinda had to stick together. We were 
kind of the odd men out, men women out. I don't think people really re recognize that. Like I literally told Alexandria the other day, I was like, yeah, like I know I'm gonna have to go out Steve pretty soon, or else I'm not gonna win. Like the more you can throw people off the idea that we're trying to teach each other the final like two or three or whatever, the less likely they are to try and sort us up. Um, I was talking to Chris and he was like, yeah, I mean, I, I'm best friends with Steve, but I'm going to have to eliminate him eventually because it is a game. So I don't think it'll be too hard to get Chris LeCompte to vote off Steve. I mean, me and you, I kind of like showed that I could like make things happen with you. Yeah. And I, like, I kind of like voted out my old tribe. and So I just wanted to see like what you guys were thinking about what's going to happen moving forward. Or, um, I mean, I'm open to work with you guys. I mean, obviously, you know, wa old Waka was like pretty strong before. You know, I should, you know, try and stick with them. But, yeah. you know, now that you've been, you know, for the most part, honest with me. Yeah. I feel like... I mean, I'll be like, I'll be honest, the only time I lied to you was going into the first vote with Brandon. You know what I mean? Like, I lied to, like, almost everyone in the game, but, like, you I'm, also, to, I'm, yeah. also, I'm also open to this when I'm honest about lying. I'm trusting Chris a little bit, and I think he's a pretty cool guy, so I'd like to kind of stay with him for a couple more votes, at least. Well, my um, sort of style of play has been... Um, make friends. Yeah. So I'm not. I mean, I like how. I like how you're, the however, best. however much you're meaning to do, I like how you're playing the game a lot. Okay. So like at this point, like Exandria. Yep. I'm thinking Exandria. So you sort of. I think the fact that now Chandler and Nicole Senti are on my team, it's kind of an advantage. Exandria, bye. I'm voting for you. You're gone. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think she's ever like really aligned herself with anyone. She's kind of just been doing her own thing. I don't think she's even come to Survivor Challenges. Chandra is the player that shouldn't be pretty much. Like, she shouldn't be around right now. First first challenge, she, you know, we thought she was a pretty dominant girl, and then she kind of fucked with us. You know, but since then, she pretty much has done nothing. It's pretty much by herself, and it's pretty much cool to this. For the main reason that I haven't really, just, like, talked to her, you like, I don't feel bad like, voting on people I didn't really have a relationship with, yeah. like, I have no idea what Steve's deal is. I haven't even talked to Steve before. I mean, I'm cool. I'm tight with Steve. Steve's like one of my best yeah. friends. Yeah. So I would not <laughs> want to vote Steve out ever. And you guys matching on purpose? Yeah. Dude, I'm really the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, like, so he wanted to talk to you, and like, I haven't talked to Connor that much since. Since like we split tribes, because they were talking to the your tribe the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm thinking that like I want to like get. Us four, we're four from kind of different parts of the game. Yeah, you can pull any. And there's like different assets you need. I mean, that, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'd agree. And like, and I pretty much said that like, as far as like this whole like game of duos kind of goes, which is kind of like how it looks, is like, you know, my opinion is that it would have to be a way to break up Chris, Chris Joe yeah. Crowder and Sienna in in some way. And, and I, I'd be I open think, to listen to what you guys thought. Yeah, we should. You know what I mean? Board. I think the first vote could just all be for Exandria, and they wouldn't have any idea that we're together. But yeah. She also just. <laughs> I feel like. See, the, the worst was when she was like, I don't have to leave at 11 30 to go study, so I can be in bed by one or something. I was like, come on! I was like, come on! Like, come on. Aren't you in college? Like, no one looks back at college and wishes they slept more. I was like, okay, <laughs> so you guys are good with that. I'll get some sleep. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. No, that was yeah. good. We'll talk. We'll we talk. That. Yeah, that was good. Nice see you guys tomorrow. Good meeting. Yeah, yeah. Good meeting. 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 If we want to sell with Ryan Sierra, we can vote them up. We, we, can, them. we can get the other side. It's up to us. We have to decide. Yeah. I'm it's so tight with Ryan Sierra. No, what I'm saying is, with them, it's going to be tough to think about the end. Where it's going to be way easier to beat Ryan yeah. Sierra head to head. I want to stay with them now. Chris and Phil. Because I haven't like given them really a chance, you know? Yeah. We, we're in the middle. And it's the best. Because they're clearly on one side and the yellows are Yeah, we have, we have alliances with every, basically every, every person when we, when we need to use them, we can. Wow. What is that? Now no, I'm just excited for the one. Are you guys ready to get to your first individual challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! I thought the last one was individual, but okay. So, uh, first things first, let me take back that nice looking idol. So, this is oh, individual yeah. ready. This is the one we'll be using. Challenge is basically a dizzy bat obstacle course. Um, we're gonna have five heats of two to start off. So I just randomly 
sign you guys, and the winner of each heat moves on. So then after that, I'll randomize the five again. Um, so the five that win, there'll be a heat of two and a heat of three, and the winner of each move on. What if I throw up? We've got Connor, we've got Chandler, in our first heat, 12 spins, then they go to the obstacles. Survivors ready? Go! Connor with an early lead. Chandler falling. Struggling. Connor's going slow. Now Connor goes. <laughs> Connor going under. He gets under. He's working out. Oh, God. Now he's going on the balance part. Oh, he gets it. He gets two feet. Chandler is on the ground. Connor wins the first heat. I'll get the spins. Uh, next up we got Ryan and we have Zondria. Heat number two. Survivors ready. Go! Uh-oh. Ryan's slowing down. He's getting dizzy. <laughs> Zondria, you gotta go back and do one. Zondria, you gotta go back and do one. You did it off the bat. Ryan's going. Under, 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 under. Don't knock it. Ryan's under. Now he's going to the balance beam. Katie's oh! Here comes Andrea. Now he doesn't get it. Ah, oh, gotta go back. Gotta go back. Right, oh, he gets it. Ryan, Ryan moves on. We've got Nicole. We've got Nicole. Battle of the Nicoles. Senti on the left. Buck on the right. Survivors ready. Go. She takes a step back. Oh, she gets it. Nicole Locke moving on. All right, next up, we've got Steve. We've got Phil. They're still going to 12 spins. Survivors ready. Go! Dead evens. Now Steve's picking it up. It's like he's done this before. Head to the bat, Steve. Phil's got a good pace. Yeah, yeah. Here comes Steve. <laughs> going sideways. I'm Thunder. Phil trying to catch up. Phil's flying under. Now Phil's going. Oh, I. Phil by a hair. Phil by a hair. But it looked like Phil got it by a hair. Why did he move? All right, after the review. Phil was the winner of that battle by about a quarter of a second. So close, Steve. Nicole, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Alright, you want to do 25 spins? 25 is a lot. 30. We've got Chris LeConte. We've got Chris Thomas. Survivors ready. Go! Time is five. They're both slowing down. Chris LeCon doesn't know where he's going. Oh! Chris Thomas falls. The two strong guys can't do it. And here goes Chris LeCon to slide under. Chris Thomas tackles him. Chris LeCon gets it. Chris Thomas out of this challenge. Chris Thomas tried to go a little bit of unsportsmanlike move and all right, I totally they shake it out. They shake it out. All right, we've got our five moving on. 
We got Nicole Locke. We got Chris Lecombs. We have Ryan. We have Connor, and we have Phil. All right, what we're adding after you get to the base, you got to go around this pole. So that's why I put a cone there, and then slalom through. All right, we've got Connor versus Nicole Locke. Okay, survivors ready? Go! Cole with an early lead. Cole falling a little bit. Whoa! Nicole with a little bit of a lead. Now Nicole's going. She's straighter this time. She's got it back. Here comes Nicole. Uh, no, 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 Nicole, Nicole, you gotta start from the beginning. Connor's going around the slalom. He's around the first cone. He's around the second cone. Nicole's trying, but Connor gets it. Connor moving on to the final. May the best man win. All right, we've got Chris Lecombs. We've got Ryan. We've got Phil. Best one moves on. Just hold on, watch out for that. Survivor's ready. Go! Quick start for Phil. Chris Lacan with an early lead. He doesn't know where he's going. He turns around again. Now he's coming right at me. Here comes Phil. Chris, wait, Chris went from the side. Chris went from the side. He went from the side. <laughs> Phil's going. Phil's going. Phil moving on. <laughs> Chris Lecombe did not win. Phil won. Who else lost? Ryan lost. I don't even know where Ryan was. Hey. <laughs> Alright, the last round. We're doing two different things. At this point, you gotta do eight more spins. The counters will bring the bat over. You go through the slalom. You get here, you have to stack 15 Jenga blocks. You can do it on its side, it just has to be straight up. 15 is like that? Yeah. We've got Phil and we've got Connor battling for immunity. The winner of this wins the first post first challenge. All right, survivors ready? Go! Still 12 spins, keep the bat down. Slightly for Phil, but Connor's at a good pace. We're dead even. We're dead even here. Phil's going. Connor's going. They're dead even. They gotta go over. Phil trying to leap it. Connor goes. They both get over. Second spins. Gotta go to eight. Eight spins. Connor with a slight lead. Watch out, watch out, watch out, you're colliding. Quick spin for Phil. Here goes Connor, you gotta go around the pole, around the pole. So they come down to the wire, Connor with an early lead. Here comes Phil. Connor with an early lead going into the Jenga. 15 blocks have to be stacked. Connor's at a quick lead. It's gotta stand for three seconds after you place the last one. I will count it out. Oh, Connor's done. Connor's done. Here comes Phil. Redemption for Phil. Come on, Phil. That exact speed. Twelve. Well, Connor had thirteen. Now you gotta go. Oh, you gotta go up. Gotta go. Fourteen. Uh oh. Phil on his last one. Can't knock it over. You lose. Uh, and then uh, one, two, three. Phil wins immunity. How do you get out? After that. <laughs> Congratulations, Phil. Let me give you immunity. Chris, what happened there? What happened there? You just swatted a freaking thing of Jenga blocks. I mean, I was obviously happy I won. It's yeah, those were those were diving under um the little limbo bar. Coming back, uh, going against Steve was awesome. And, you know, Steve could have obviously, like, easily won the whole thing, probably, if I didn't beat him first round. Like, he would have had a good shot, and, you know, that would have screwed everything up. It's going to be tricky. Um, I mean, right now, I honestly think I'm in good standing with everybody in the game. So, you know, if Exandria, if everyone wanted to vote Exandria out, 
this this round that would probably be ideal for me because like it's not really stirring the waters or anything like that. I did not like the challenge last night. I don't like teacup rides. I don't like Ferris wheels. Then again, I don't think I need to win challenges to even win this game. Like, you know, for someone like, you know, I think Steve maybe. I think it's pretty important he wins um, because I think like Chris Thomas and Phil are kind of gunning for him. So someone in that position will kind of have to win. I mean, we were talking about it in like Exandria, like, you know, we can vote her out whenever we want, really. She's not going to win any, <laughs> any challenges and like, she's pretty much like a complete non-threat. I feel like we can definitely get Steve and Chris voted off first. I feel like that shouldn't be a problem. I would go for Steve first. Uh, Steve, I would say Steve probably would have been voted off if he had won the uh, individual meeting. I can't. For our alliance, you know, I pretty much trust everyone. You know, we're all pretty close since we're all, you know, the six old Waka plus kind of the roommate. So, you know, I don't really plan, or, you know, I don't predict that anyone would want to backstab us pre, you know, before we just vote out the other four players. Zondria, like, she voted, she tried to vote me out, but she's, like, a really nice person. Like, I feel like she's not the kind of person who's, like, conniving. She's more, she just goes with the flow. Ryan was like, I don't, he was saying, I don't lie to people. I just tell them the truth. But of course, he tells, like, certain parts. But I think he's more reliable in terms of, like, he will tell me honestly who he's voting for. If he was going to vote for me, he would probably tell me. She told me after I saved her that she'd help me down. She'd help me out further down the line, so I'd rather get rid of Nicole Locke. I don't know, she never approached me, she never asked for an alliance. I feel like she thinks that she's all hunky-dory, but little does she know I'm aligned with every single other person. <laughs> and she's my next target. So what do you think? Uh, I mean, I still think sticking with the whole Waka. Waka tribe would be best. Yeah. Okay, I think that Nicole Locke this week. You really? Yeah. You don't think Steve or Chris? No. And everyone wants her out. What, the the threat wasn't challenges, I don't think. Like, Chris and Steve are definitely the biggest threats and challenges. I don't want to vote Steve off because, like, I know Steve, and, like, I would rather keep him a little bit longer. So, right. like, I'm not Do you trust him, though, asshole. after he said he was going to vote no, but, like, Warren like, off? And what he comps said that he would, like. He voted for you, though, when he blatantly said he wasn't going to vote for you. He was going to vote for Lauren. And if me and Connor had, like, hadn't lied to Lauren, then you would have been voted off. Regardless, we're gonna have to play it so they don't think that they're gonna be voted out. Which is the blindside people. I'm pretty sure like Chris the Comp and Steve have both of these idols. There's no other way in this game right now. That is what's happening. I guess like Nicole Ox not. I just don't trust her at all. I, I don't trust her at all, but like I feel like at this stage of the game, like trust matter. trust with her it doesn't matter because she's on the minority alliance. So I, I honestly think like Steve could win like five or six challenges. Like, which yes, is why I wanna get him and Chris off as fast as possible. I guess that's true. Let me talk to like Siona about it. Okay. Talk to Siona, Nicole, and I'll talk to Phil, Connor, and Chan. Okay. Chris Thomas has my back, I think. I've protected him in the game, he's protected me. So both of us will get pretty far, because I don't think either of us are going to try to vote each other out for a while. Phil and Chris Thomas want to vote for Steve Sleesman. But Steve came up to me and asked if he, like, if he could stay in the loop with me or whatever. So I don't want to vote for Steve right now because I could use him to my benefit. Dude, we have to she said she would vote out, she kind of wants to vote out Connor because she thinks like, that dang. he hasn't played a big game. Who's this saying this? Nicole's empty. Why does Chris's name not come up more? I don't understand why my name or Chris's name or your name doesn't come up more to get voted out. I don't understand it. Like, you should sure know does. how to play this fucking game. I'm sure it does. Oh. I just don't hear it. I mean, as long as it's not Nicole's empty, I don't care. This is not voting for Nicole Sandy. Yeah. That's three Chandler and Connor. Which I don't trust so. Chandler and Connor at all. Three hundred us. I just That's why I'm just gonna like put the power in like Connor and Chandler and Chandler. Like, well, like what do you think? Like what do you think you're gonna do? Like every vote that I've been at has won how I wanted to get to and how. Well we also have trick members now. That's true. So Nicole Sandy says she wants to vote Nicole. Why didn't why didn't we tell Nicole that? She's like she's like, yeah, it's on break by Chris. That's what she said? Yeah. That's really what she said. Literally what she said. And I was like, oh I was like, yeah, that's like not gonna work this week. I think I think she trusts me because she told me that. So I don't like literally say anything. Like, 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 I'm just gonna question the shit out of you that she breaks. So I'm not gonna mean it at all. Cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like 
Are you good? No, 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 I'm not going to do you, trust me. I'm, I'm really good at being, like, I know how to fucking talk to you. I'm not going to do you, trust me. Like, trust so, me. Yeah, because I want to do you, trust me. Yeah, even if I don't have a book for this one. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a comrade. Chandler. Alright, so what's, what's the deal? Anything crazy? We still haven't really decided. You know, obviously we're going to vote together. Yeah. Or tonight. I mean, like, I'm really going to tell you that I'm not going to vote for you. Yeah, that's out of the question. And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll keep that as far as you guys will, to be honest. Yeah. It, yeah. Can, it can be um, until there's six people, whatever. How uh, far? Your status with Locke now. Cool lock. So I know like, you guys are voting with each other before. I like the cool and like we're friends, so like... I don't know the validity of it, but I heard her name thrown around. Really? From who? Yeah, from like Chris. Really? I can see why Chris is going to do that. Would you do that? I mean, you know, I like, we were on the same I would, team. I would, I, would, I, would, I would probably do it. I mean, like, I'd rather not do it, like, this week, but, like, next vote or the day after. Yeah. I'd, I'd be fine with it a whole lot. Okay. I mean, what are you thinking of now? Like, honestly, I was fine with putting Exandria out. And, like, I started to think about it, and, like, it makes sense for everyone else to keep Exandria in because she's yeah. so I was thinking the same thing. Out. Apparently, apparently, Alexandria won't vote out Chris. Chris Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, that's weird. Why? I don't know. It was being a. Such... I just don't. I don't really want Alexandria. <laughs> yeah, but dude, then, but like, do we need Chris more than we need her? Like, no, we need like someone who's gonna win the game and more out. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay, fine. Me and you said Steve and Ryan, Siona, and Nicole all said Locke. Because the conversation I had with Ryan, like, he like definitely did not want to vote Steve or Chris off. Really? Yeah. Alright, so let's go talk to Connor, Connor and Chana. I, I can't find them. So, do you think the Thomas tonight? Is that what we're... I don't know, what do you guys... Yeah, I'm all for it. Who else? Thomas, or who would be another contender? The only one I could think of would be Thomas or Zonkey. Yeah, yeah, um, wait, so if us five vote for uh, Chris... Y'all not messing with me, right? No. I, yeah. No, we're not messing. I don't like getting lied to when I'm actually telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm upset with that. There's no. I, mean, like, I don't you, see any other move to make right they'll, they'll now. Do it. That's like they'll do it. Yeah, Steven Long, Nicole. Yeah. If he really is desperately like the only other person I would think is Andre, and if he's still if he's desperate to stick with that, we can go with that. But if not, I think that's our best move right yeah. now. Yeah. I don't want to screw over um, the comp, obviously, because no, he's been he like you power, know coming yeah. to us and like. You know, trust He's made us. the initiative. No one else has. Like, no. we should convince Ryan that we should take out Thomas. I think we can do that. And we should get them all to vote together. That way, we stay in the middle. Yes, we we you and I can't blow our compass. We, ha we have, Ryan likes we have four life. weeks to be safe, basically. You think it's then it gets you. complicated. It's two, two, and two. And then we have the power because I, I can get the Senti. We two. can go with Ryan and Siona and get Once Chris and Steve, point. or we can go with Chris and Steve and get out Ryan and Siona. In the meantime, we'd have to screw over Chris and Steve. But they never said, let's ride until the end. They said, we'll take this as far as we want to. Yeah. And that's what, the farthest we want to yeah. Alright, we're set. I need to get my hey, yeah. Woo! I did it. See? Yeah. Hey, you guys are going to I was talking to Chandler. And he said that, I guess, Chris LeCompte and Steve came up to him and said they're going to vote Chris Thomas out. So either I think it's going to be Crystal Cole, that's essentially what it comes out to. But I don't know who or what people are going to do. There are a lot of sides right now. <laughs> Ryan told me that he talked to Chris and Steve and they were trying to get him to vote me. Though I, I talked to Nicole, like I just went to Chipotle with Nicole a lot. And she gave me her word that I wasn't getting voted off. I don't know, I want to say that our Waka, old Waka Alliance is, is good, but I really just don't trust Ryan and Sienna at all. I'm nervous about a tribal just because back to every other tribal I had, I knew exactly who was voting for who. And I just literally, like, I, I have less than an hour and I still have no idea who I'm voting for. I don't really know Nicole Locke, so I don't really have any trust in her. I think at some point soon, um, Nicole Locke might have to go home. Because I was if we get Chris and Steve off, it'll be down to the final nine. And then we vote Ryan off. Ryan I think about this way, like, like just, just, just hypothesis. Like, if we voted off, say, Doctor this week, 
then it would be it's, let's say we just could have any everyone agree with what I'll pick Yeah. Then it's, Final it's ten. Ten, 10 votes, right. and we already have a strong five. Do we have a strong five though? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be switching between alliances probably because I'm trying to like eliminate people from each side sequentially. I think Nicole Locke is gonna go this week because we have a majority. I like don't trust Chandler kind of vote with us, but if we do, that's five and it's strong enough to probably. I think five will probably win. Five will probably do it. Oh, I like whatever, I just don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be me, but I just like, I feel like everyone gonna be a really weird aspect. I feel like as long as this week goes according to my plan, which most weeks have, then um, it's gonna be pretty hunky dory. Like a ringleader leading the cult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to your first uh, post-merge travel council. Chandler, yeah. did it uh, feel good to finally make the stage of the game? Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> exciting, not so only to make to the merge, but um, I, you know, I felt like I was kind of in a tough spot. <laughs> did any of us feel like they were like, like saved a little bit by the merge? Saved by the Let's go! So, Connor, you came, let's talk about the immunity challenge. Uh, you came pretty close to winning. Are you uh, worried that you weren't able to get it, or is it not a big deal? Um, no, I'm not too worried. I mean, I should have won. I learned how to stack blocks in preschool, and I guess I was pretty <laughs> <laughs> So, Siona, Siona, you were uh, you were pretty uh, deathly ill that day. Let the record that show that Austin made me come out when I had a hundred three degree fever. <laughs> Nicole Senti, uh, how does the the game kind of the, the votes change around the merge time? I don't know. Right now, I don't really think it's changed much, but like in the future, it might because like. You don't want to keep someone around who's like constantly winning the challenges. So how's it felt to win when uh, two individual challenges in a row? It's good. I, I didn't really have to worry that much, but it's still like, I mean, it still matters a lot in the long run who gets really well. Ryan, uh, Old Waka, lost four challenges to start off the game. Do you think, did you think at that point that a Waka player had any shot of winning the game? Yep. Yeah, I think we did. I think we actually like bonded through that. Steve, you guys had a five to three advantage on uh, each tribe after the swap. So when, after the merge, it's kind of just like thinking about it. We were going over up everyone who had made it. And we were just like, wow. I think that the, the three Waka were very, very strong. Had a lot of control on it. Um, we were able to split a lot of votes. And that's what led to, I mean, not just our tribe, but the other new tribe. Um, I mean, it led to Nahami after Nahami after Nahami. Kudos to those six blocker. They played a, played a good game at this point. Uh, <laughs> Siona's taking a bow. Okay. So Chris, the comps. Um, so so five people, as he said, voted out straight from Nahami. Do you feel like now the people that are? Left, <laughs> do you feel like now the people left are like from Nahami are just screwed, or is there is there something that can save you? There's something. I never know what's going to happen. I tried it. So. Uh, Nicole Locke. How do you think that, that shift in power happened? We kind of got in with some of the off of people, but uh, post merge, you never know who or where people are going to reside, if they're going to go back to their original group or if they're going to switch alliances. You never really know. As a spokesperson for Old Waka, I don't think we even realized that we were voting off Nahami people until you just said that. Like, well, I don't, think, I don't think it was like, oh, we're going to vote off Nahami because they're old Nahami. I just think it was because the Old Waka had strong ties with the Old Waka. I just thought that we voted off the weakest players. <laughs> right. It's time to vote. Uh, you guys cannot vote for Phil, as you know, he's immunity. So, sorry. Everyone else is fair game. Hello, friends. Pretty much at this point, I think the alliance between Nicole and Chris that would form would be more. Um, disastrous than the alliance between Steve and Chris because I'm pretty sure that um, Chris Lecomte and Steve are about to turn on each other. So I'm sorry, Nicole. I'm voting you off. That's right. My vote is going to Zandria because I think it will be a better game if she is not in the game. However, I do feel as if it's going to be either me or Nicole Locke 
going home on this fine evening. We back in this. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to do this. I like this person. I don't want to vote her out. But my alliance wants to do it, so I didn't want to make them mad. Hopefully my alliance doesn't backstab me because of it, but... Okay, well I really have no idea what's going on right now, so I'm just voting for someone. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm going home, so this is just a vote to vote, so it doesn't really matter. Well, X was the first letter that came to my mind, so uh, I guess it's you, Zandra. Um, this was probably the hardest vote so far. Um, I don't know. I still don't know who's going. Sorry, Nicole Locke. The first time I actually talked to you was tonight, and you seem like a pretty nice person who plays soccer. It's a waste of a vote either way. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm voting for you, Alexandria, because um, I just think you should be out of the game, and I'm not going to vote for Nicole Locke because I'm not going to do it. Okay, so my vote tonight is for Nicole Locke. No hard feelings, but that's just what I was gonna do. And that is how the cookie crumbles. <sighs> All right, so I'm not exactly sure who I'm voting for. It's between Alexandria and um, Polak. Give me a minute! <laughs> Looks like I got it. Once the votes are read, this is the final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Well. <laughs> Alright, I'll read the votes. First vote. Zandria. Second vote. Egg Zandria. Does that even count? That does not count. That counts. That's two votes, Zandria. Third vote. Nicole Lock. Zandria. Zandria. <laughs> Zandria. It's a six vote, sorry. That's five votes, Zandria. One vote, Nicole Locke. Seventh vote, Nicole Locke. Eighth vote, Nicole Locke. Nicole Locke. Five votes, Zandria. Four votes, Nicole Locke. Two votes left. Tenth vote. Tenth person vote out of survival to play on the first member of our jury, Zandria. At six, that's enough. <laughs> Zandria, Travis, I don't want Time for you to go. Bye guys. This week I got cabooted from Survivor. Um, wasn't what I expected but I don't think it had anything to do with my part, just some rash decision making at the end. Unfortunately, I think I could have stopped it, but it's been a busy week. I've just had a lot of my, on my mind, and um, Chris LeCompte, um, I know he wants to get rid of Steve in the short future, but as of now, um, I guess he decided to keep Steve on his team, and he was trying to save both Nicole and Steve um, on our way over to Tribal. Um, sad that I have to go, but it doesn't matter. I'm on the jury at this point. It's been fun. It's been real. Um, had I not been voted off this week, I still would have won Survivor. <laughs> All right. Peace, guys.
next time on Survivor. I could definitely do any eating challenge. That's like not even a problem. Ryan looks to make good on a promise from the beginning of the game. <laughs> Ryan, can you keep it down? <laughs> and with mounting paranoia, everyone goes into full-on scramble mode. Uh, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I feel like they're already.